playing plastic today. I know, I'm not Andrew. Wouldn't you believe it? He's working somewhere else. I'm waiting for Brian. Uh, I guess I can give you a little bit of a background on this. So the way that this basically works is the tractor pulls along the ground. These two plows create a furrow right in the middle that creates basically a nice mound of dirt that flows underneath this. It lays this uh, little line right here called drip tape. It allows us to irrigate our crops. There's tiny holes in this. You send water through it and it drips the water onto your vegetables so you can irrigate them. Uh, this plastic is then fed through these rollers that goes down here to this bottom roller. Right over top of the furrow of dirt that's created. These tires pull the plastic down and then these discs cover the very sides of plastic with dirt. So then creates a nice row of plastic that we can then poke holes in later with uh, another machine called a transplanter and we'll be able to plant our peppers and tomatoes. Looks like Brian's here now, so I'm gonna get to work. I'm sure Andrew's gonna explain this later on in the video, but uh, for anybody of you, any one of you that's wondering why on earth we're laying plastic down, it helps with weed control. Uh, it helps the plants, like I mentioned earlier with the drip tape, we can irrigate them better. We don't irrigate the whole field, we can irrigate directly only the vegetables we have planted in here. I hope you can even hear me. Hey everybody, how you doing today? It's so nice to see you guys. We're out here in the field. It's windy again. Seems like it's always windy here. What we're doing is we're laying some plastic. I think Joel had mentioned what we were doing. He probably gave you all the information you need to know. Hey Joel, how you doing? Doing good Andy, how are you? I'm doing good. Right. So Joel's gonna cut the plastic. And then what we have run underneath, there's a little black line, that's called a drip line. Joel's gonna cut that off. Okay. And then Joel will take the shovel and it'll cover up this end so it doesn't blow up from the wind. Joel has to pull the drip line back out. He wraps it around that rock because we don't want to lose it because that's how we're going to be able to water all the plants that we put in this plastic. And he's taking the plastic, he's pulling it underneath the roller. He pulls it back, he sets it under these tires. What these tires do is they pull it down alongside the dirt hump and it allows it to be covered with the dirt much easier. And then after he's finished with this, Joel will take more dirt and he'll throw it on top. Because we don't want this to blow up. That usually happens if it starts to get windy. Like I think we're supposed to have 60 mile an hour winds tomorrow. Something like that. Yeah. So we want to make sure that we get this covered. Because if we don't, it's just going to blow up and we're going to have a mess. He said earlier, none of this plastic is going to blow up. All of it's super smooth. It's gonna go, nope, we're having no issues. No, no issues. issues. It's gonna be just fine. You hear that? No issues. We're setting up the plastic layer for peppers. We plant a double row of peppers, so we want the plastic, the line, uh, the drip line to be down the middle. 
because when we go through with our planter we don't want to puncture the water line so we're moving it in the middle because our pepper the thing we'll use to plant our peppers plants one on this side and one on this side of the plastic so we want the drip line right up the center All that is gonna be for tomatoes. The stuff we planted for cucumbers and stuff, it's over on the other side of the tree line. And I wanna show you guys this rock. Look at this thing. How about the pretty flocks and the pretty uh that could cause some problems. Ooh. Pretty flocks and my dad wants wood. my dad wants me to show you the flowers. Look at our wild flowers we have growing. Right next to the field. Do you like the flowers? I love the flowers. That's why I do this. Beautiful. You like laying plastic? When I don't have to get out of the tractor, yes. Dad just left with the plastic layer. You can see we moved over to this other spot where they were laying this morning. Now this, I believe, is going to be where the pickle, the pickling cucumbers, the zucchini, and the uh, cucumbers are going to be. They're going to be over here, um, and I think we're going to be able to have two plantings here. The way Dad planted them. While we're over here. I'll take you over. I'll show you the cabbage and broccoli and the cauliflower that we planted starting to look a lot nicer so this stuff i have over here this taller stuff this is actually uh, we planted this not only a couple days ago we had some extra cabbage and stuff at the farm so it was so cold and it just stunted it you can see the the leaves don't look too nice but then we go right over here and this stuff looks awesome that we planted later it's actually a head of that, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, you got the peacocks upset now. <laughs> Daniel was fixing some places where the water was washing it out, so he's getting some rocks that we had from the potatoes. That was some big rocks. Yeah. Joel had to move a couple big rocks out of the field. Good job, man. Thank you. I'm our rock picker. But Joel and I went for a ride to show you guys all the plastic we laid over here. Isn't it beautiful? Rows and rows of silicon. Amazing. Silicon. Okay, this poly polyethylene. It's made out of cornstarch. Cornstarch. Made out of corn. You didn't know that? I did. <laughs> I actually did, but I used the polyethylene. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Back at the farm, we just got done feeding animals. Just checking on these guys. They look good. We have to put them in this cage or else the kitties get them. The greenhouse. You can see all the sales, all the stuff for sales is basically gone. See how large the pepper plants have gotten. We have been so busy, so many new people have been coming to the farm market and they've been buying vegetable plants. So we were a little under what we thought we needed, but hopefully we should have enough.